Hey friends, before I do the actual video unboxing for this for Tux Toys, I do want to mention the Tux Toys giveaway is coming up very soon. It is a subscriber-based giveaway for 10,000 subs, celebrating 10,000 subs, okay? So um, if I hit 10,000, that's when we're going to do the giveaway. And we're about, I want to say about less than 50 people from that. So be sure and subscribe. Um, you can enter one time per video to saying enter me or enter me senpai to get your name in the hat. Okay, so be sure and subscribe. Tell your friends the sooner we hit 10,000, the sooner I do this giveaway. And it's going to be some cool prizes. Just wait and see. You're going to like this, okay? I've done lots of giveaways in the past, and this one will be very similar as far as the way we execute it with one entry per video, okay? And someone's going to win, and the odds are probably going to be about 1 in 50. So the odds couldn't be much better, okay? So be sure and enter, and good luck to all of you. Now to the unboxing. Hi friends, Tux here. For this particular video, we're going to take a look at the My Arcade little handheld controlling game system. This is a all-in-one controller and console built together, which is sporting, they claim, 220 built-in video games. So that all sounds pretty good. It looks like it's plug-and-play with RCA cords. More about that in a bit. And um, But it, all in all, it looks pretty good. It looks like kind of like your standard, kind of like an Xbox, you know, minus a few button controllers, you know. Um, but it looks pretty modern as a whole. Um, on the back here, let's check it out. Um, it features no console required. 220 games built in, connects right to your TV, requires three AAA bags not included. So I kind of I kind of don't like the fact they don't include the batteries, you know, so that's kind of bad. Um, but all in all, it looks good. Um, what are these games? I have no idea. It almost looks like Mario 2. Um, I don't even know what these games are, like in television baseball. I, I don't know. We're going to find out together. Hopefully, maybe it's got some cool games. They claim it has puzzle strategy, racing, combat, action, sports, and much, much more. So let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I will have a link for this or a very similar version of this down below in the description from Amazon. So if you want to check one out, 220 games is a pretty, pretty good amount of games for your library. So it may be worth checking out. Let me get scissors. Okay, give us a little snippy snippy here. We'll cut into this and see what's included in the box. Give a little cut there. There we go. And let's check this out. I do like these little game systems, you know, I'll admit it, like, it just, there's something fun about having a whole bunch of games in, like, one little console or controller, so, these are the type of things I do pick up from time to time, and, um, I am a fan of, and I kind of collect even, you know, um, sometimes they're better, oops, it's falling apart, uh, sometimes some of them are better than others as far as the quantity and quality of games included, um, taking a look here, they have a, a pretty good little, uh, book here, this is kind of thick, but it's probably just a bunch of languages, I'm guessing here, uh, it talks about the controller, Talks about batteries, got the three AAA batteries, talks about the buttons, uh, pretty standard stuff. And it goes through France and Spanish and a whole bunch of languages here. So anyway, sold around the world, okay? Um, take a look at the controller itself. Let's check this out. We'll pull this out of its little protective sleeve. And it comes with, this is the AV cord, okay? So this is like RCA, some people call them RCA patch cords. These are on like older TVs. Uh, modern computer monitors probably do not have these. Modern TVs may not even have these. Um, but the, the white is for the audio, mono audio, and the yellow is for video, okay? So that's the way that works. And this plugs into the system. And that's kind of like the TV AV out. It looks like the length of the cord is very generous. So, so that's a good thing. You can actually go quite a ways. So looking at the controller here, there is no buttons up top here it's just flat so there's no buttons it just pretty much has a a b button a restart and a start button okay it does have the usual little like up down left right kind of thing and this does feel actually pretty springy like this feels like a pretty functional and responsive controller for being a cheap little controller you know it looks like there is a on and off button right here okay and the way this works this just plugs into the hole right here just like that okay and then of course these get plugged into your tv set i'm gonna plug this in and try some of these games i'll be right back now, one color I do want to make is that this is a extremely small screw for the batteries. This is like the battery compartment here. So even a smaller screwdriver like this one here, it simply will not fit. It looks like it's going to fit. It doesn't fit. So it's really a shame they didn't include a small, you know, two cent, five cent screwdriver with this if they're going to include such a small area, you know. So that is a little disappointing. And again, this is where the AAA batteries go into. 
as far as batteries go, this is what a AAA battery looks like in case you're not sure. Um, these are the ones I do use. Uh, in fact, I think I have a video back in the queue about these Amazon rechargeable AAA batteries, which are a really good deal. So if you're looking for batteries, uh, check out this video. I'll have a link down below or check out the full video I have on these. But these are my favorite batteries, the Amazon basic batteries. They last a real long time and they're, they're not real expensive. And if you want to, they're rechargeable. Sometimes I'll just buy these and throw them away even though they are rechargeable because the price is right. Okay, you know, I just discovered I only have one TV in the house that has RCA plugs, so it's way up high here on the wall, so I apologize the angle's a little bit funky, but I just wanted to at least give you a little in-game view of the games. It is apparently 220 and 1, as you can see, right up there, okay? And I'm just going to run through a few of these real quick here, check it out. The controller does feel very responsive, feels excellent. I'm um, looking at the names, like Vanguard is an old arcade game. Let me start with that one here and see. Um, oh, it went to the end. How weird is that? All right, Vanguard. And let me hit start here. There we go. And this does not look like the Arcade Vanguard. Let me see what this is all about. This, um, if you know if this is an old NES game. Okay, this looks like a kind of a copycat of like maybe Commando or some other old arcade game with tanks. That's interesting. Um, it controls well. I'll give it that. I mean, the graphics are pretty weak. I don't know if this is... Atari 2600 or what this is. I mean, I guess it's better than 2600, obviously. Scrolling down, now again, you have to, you don't go back to where you left off, you go back to the actual beginning of the whole thing. Okay, so we're scrolling through them here. Well, let's check a couple more here, let's see. Jump, jump, kind of sounds like a old racing game that was an arcade game. There's the X-Racer we just did. All right, let's see here, uh, Space War Turtles. Could that be like Ninja Turtles? I, I really doubt it, let's see here. Now, wait, this looks a lot like Zoo Catcher, the arcade game. Let's see what happens here. Wow, if this is like Zoo Catcher, um, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, no, it's not at all like Zoo Catcher. In fact, this looks more like Minor 249er or some kind of weird old thing. Let's see. Okay, I'm that little guy there. I'm just I'm trying to get the gold. I'm the turtle. Oh, they got you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so like, I guess you're the turtle, but instead of being the good guy, you're the thief. So, <laughs> I don't know. Pretty crazy. Where do they get these games? Let's see. 220 games. I would say this definitely isn't something to be like a main gift for a birthday or Christmas. But you know, for like a stocking stuffer or something, it's pretty cool. I'm actually having a good time. And look how many games there is. I mean, like I've only scratched the surface of all these crazy games in here. And somewhere in here, there's a robot. Somewhere in here, there could be like a really cool one too, which you know, like a little diamond in the rough, so you just don't know. Okay, so to recap, this is a fun little system. You get 220 games, you get a really responsive controller, which is great. It doesn't use a lot of power, easy to hook up. On the con side, the fact that you have to unscrew this teeny little screw to put batteries in is really inconvenient because they don't include that really teeny screwdriver, you know. And it'd be nice if it was maybe rechargeable instead of having to use AAA batteries too. And finally, the games are fun, but it'd be better if it even had more name brand games, you know, Donkey Kongs, you know, Arcade Machine, Street Fighter, things like that, you know. In fact, I have another console I ordered that will be here in about uh, two, to two to four weeks, later on, probably late November, early December, I'll do a video for that, that sports supposedly 30,000 games, but it is over double the price. Okay, so that's the, the con. This isn't real expensive, but for the money, it's fun, you know? So click the link down below. The holidays are coming up. This will make a great stocking stuffer or a little gift, okay? All right, friends, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.